more fire on the sacred stones. It's, this time I'm actually in the map because I just didn't want to reset the game and do that whole intro bit again. Uh, excuse me. Anyway, we're back to the main story. After a little bit of extra stuff. So, uh, I believe, yes, we can have a little look see around. Um, I guess before I begin my whole inventory setting up and stuff, uh, let's talk about this lovely guiding ring. I believe I talked about this before. They are for Magic Wielders and Troubadours, level 10 and up. So basically, units such as Natasha, Arta, Loot, Molder, and that's it. Uh, between those four units, as soon as they reach level 10, um, they have the opportunity to promote. And when they promote, they obviously get a lot stronger, they can build new weapons, get bonus uh, max stats and such. Uh, for now, everyone at their primary class can get a max stat of 20 for each stat. Like, so, the maximum you can have, like, for Natasha is, like, 20 magic, 20 skill, 20 speed, 30 luck. 20 defense and 20 resistance. Luck is its own thing, so I guess that doesn't really count as a level up. It's more of a personal kind of thing, so it depends how lucky they are. Oh, man. Currently, right now, Seth is the luckiest. What? What? Why? <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, and Josh has pretty good luck, considering of uh, his his story of being pretty bad and unlucky. Anyway, um, but yes, that's what the guiding ring does. What is this? Uh, you don't need to see this. Uh, whatever this is. Sorry, cancel. You don't need to see that. Goodbye. 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 All right. Sorry about that. Uh, that was just me trying to get this image uh, here, and uh, obviously credits to that person you saw that file name by, because uh, obviously I don't draw these lovely fan arts below me, but uh, uh, they're pretty awesome nonetheless. They're hard to find, but pretty awesome, so I give credits to you. Anyway, I'll be right back and uh, finish all with all this kind of stuff, so I'll see you then. Okay guys, I am back. Um, as you can see, I've pretty much re-equipped everyone with at least two weapons. Uh, not much with Gillian because Gillian doesn't really double attack, so his weapon usage will be pretty high and you don't need to worry about him. Um, but the main thing that you want to do before you enter this next chapter, buy... Shoot, I screwed up. Why did I buy two heal stabs? Oh my god, I only have one torch. Uh, okay. Uh, alright, I think that's gonna be doable. I can't buy another torch because I'm an idiot. Mother heck, what they wanna do that for? Come on. People aren't that stupid. Well, I am, but shouldn't be. Alright, well, whatever. Uh, here, Rika, have another sword. Okay, so basically, the mistake I made was I gave Mulder two heal staffs for whatever reason. And because of that, uh, I don't have two healers that can do torch stuff. So I'm just going to save here, and just in case I do need two torches, and this level doesn't go well, um, I'll just go back by another one. Because you're going to need it, because the mechanic, the annoying mechanic of this game, or one of the annoying mechanics in this game is going to come true. Anyway. Erika surpasses her feelings of unease and continues to search for her brother. Passing through Seraphim, the group crosses into the Grotto Empire. From here forward, there is no doubt that they were walking through hostile territory. In hopes of avoiding unnecessary trouble, Arika and company head to a sparsely populated region of Grotto. However, it is too late. Their movements are already being tracked. Ah, oh, no. There's always bad luck happening to us. Eh, nothing good ever happens. Like, why can't, why can't we just get to, through Grotto, find Ephraim, and hey, let's go home, and enough said. But then that'd be boring. Uh, so tell me. <laughs> that was a weird way of saying it. You have assassinated Erika's whereabouts, have you not? I have. I sent some of our men to follow the princess as she fled Seraphim. They tell me Erika and her friends will be coming this way shortly. Our ambush is ready and waiting. There's no way they can escape. Like rats in a sack, as they say. <laughs> Very good. Won't that wretched Volta be delighted? Now about this Princess Rico, I hear she's quite a handful. They say her peloton withstood Volta's lance. Tell me, Noval, are you certain you can handle this assignment? Don't worry, everything is under control. I've brought along a certain something from Renios. 
It will negate where the futile resistance they offer. <laughs> Bree, it goes as you say. I have the Volta voice. Very well. Do what you, do what you must. I must return to the capital. <laughs> I must return. That's like a very like old robot I'm talking about. Will you not stay and see how Enrica looks in captivity? Unlike two other layabouts I know, I do not have such time to waste. I have much to do for our master. A fountain of task awaits me. My time is far too precious to waste on the likes of that royal whelp. Trifles such as these such as best left in the hands of servants such as you. Y yes of course. Then travel well. <laughs> Freakish old man. You should have watched. You might have learned something. I will capture the princess and I will replace you at our master's side. You will stew in regret and I will enjoy every moment. Well aren't you just a power hungry piece of sh so... Oh, hi, kid! Oh, and him! Oh, shit. <laughs> Princess Eriko of Renios. Accept your fate, and you have nowhere to flee. What? Who are you? And where... Where did you come from? You're as beautiful as I heard, and you're even wearing your bracelet. I suppose we should begin there. Would you surrender your lovely little trinket? Uh... Like, bracelet? Why do you want it? Oh, right, that bracelet's a big thing. His Majesty desires it. That's reason enough. Once I present it to him, he will make me a general, and I will be famous. Come, hand it over. Do it quickly, and I'll leave you alive. Princess Erika, you will do no such thing. Of course not. <laughs> I don't know why, but no, you're not having my stuff. Obedience will save you pain. You you came all this way to aid Prince Ephraim, have you not? A fool's, Ef uh, fool's errand. Ephraim fell before the Empire's might. As we speak, he wastes away in a cell in Ranvel, meekly awaiting his execution. My brother? You lie. A pitiful worm like you could never defeat my brother. Puh. Protest all you like. It does not change the truth. Ephraim has lost, and it was Grado that defeated him. Hmm, dots. <laughs> You're not going to uh, acquiescence, are you? Very well. Bring me the child. Help me! <laughs> Help me! Ah! Uh, look familiar. She, she could be any citizen. She could be your citizen, for all we know. We don't know what Renios... I like... Uh, Unless each freaking country like wears like their own uniform or something, which would be really weird. But there's no way she would realize that this child is part of Renios. I guess in the sense that he's has a child hostage, so yeah, it's not worth a child's life. Good on you, Erika. Though that was a pretty dumb move because you don't realize what you're doing. Yes, there can be no mistaking it. Next, your weapons. Take them off and hand them over. No, surrendering our weapons would do your tantamount to suicide. You demand too much of us. I see years of peace and illness have not dulled the wits of the Renius' knights. Well then, my hostage has no more use to me, now does she? Ah, uh, such a waste. Wait a moment, I just had a delicious idea. Speaking of delicious, have you heard the giant spiders prowling the, this region? I, I, they appreciate a nice hot meal, wouldn't you agree? Oh, you can't. No! <laughs> this will be a delight to watch. These fools will curse the day they were born to Renios. Why Why would you? How could you do such a thing? This is war. There are no rules here. In war you can do anything. Anything. You curse of Renios have lost. You idiotic ravings mean nothing. Enough. Hold your tongue. What? I... We, the people of Renios, have long honored our alliances with the, uh, the Grado Empire. And you invaded without warning, you ravaged our land, you killed my father. Even then, I told myself I must not hate Grado or her people. If I gave it to my hate, the bond between our lands would be lost forever. I refused to hate, instead, I lived for the day our nations would know peace again. But, if this is Grado's true face, if you could extinguish, uh, extinguish Renios without pity, without remorse, if this is the case, then I, there is no room in my heart for forgiveness. Impudent girl! Do you expect your words to save your countrymen? Oh, excuse me. They will not. Your beloved people will all die, as will you. No, girl! I want other girl! And a few others. <laughs> if you must curse someone, curse your dear princess. Help someone! Cry, scream. <laughs> and another guy. Are we going to be eaten? We're going to be fine. Someone will rescue us. We're fricked. <laughs> That's what that guy's thinking. 
Alright, so again, uh, I'll be right back just doing the battle preps and I'll be with you fellas shortly. So also... Alright guys, I'm back and I just realized I made a big mistake. <laughs> I saved here, which means I can't go back to the world map, so I need to pass with what items I have. I mean, one torch isn't going to be the, the death of me, but it would have been very helpful. Maybe one torch is all I need. And because I screwed up with the whole torch thing, I'm not bringing mortar for this level. Okay, and other than that, I guess I can explain my main strat that I'm going to be doing here today. So, uh, before we begin, um, as you can see, we have three Renier citizens who are pretty much useless. And they're going to die. Now, you want to get to them as fast as possible because there's something over here that's going to rush down and eat them. If you remember the question, if you remember what the freaking Novala said, spiders, giant spiders. I'm arachnophobic, so I do not like spiders around. I'm just checking the top, just to make sure there's nothing there. But uh, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty safe with this. I'm gonna be set. Uh, I'm just going to begin this map uh, right now, and do not worry, I do not cheat. Um, I am. I go by that truth. If any unit dies, I will show you their death. But then I won't show you like the play to their death. I'll just show you how they died. But I guess we shall begin. Um, I'm pretty set with this formation. Uh, there are a few things I would like to point out. So this is Fog of War. <laughs> Welcome to Fog of War. Basically, it's depending on where your units are, you can only see a certain distance. The average unit can only see maybe four spaces away. Is that right? One, two, three, four. Well, yeah, majority of them can only see four spaces away. However, units such as Colm, who is a thief, and really only thief classes, uh, have the ability to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twice the range. So they can see eight spaces away, which is pretty darn good. Um. But uh, in any case, I'm actually going to hold up a second, I need to do an errand, I will be right back. So, uh, hold on to your horses, I'm just going to pause. Uh, hold up. Is it recording? Okay, it's recording. Okay, and I'm back. Alright, sorry about that. Um, I've already recorded for 16 minutes, that's pretty long, and I've only just started. Oh, well, actually, no, I did a little bit of pre-prep, so, yeah, this is one whole recording, what am I talking about? Anyway, so, uh, like I said, Fog of War is, uh, a beach, a beach. Um, and another thing that can actually help in Fog of War is the item, a torch, which allows you to see, um, a lot further. I believe it's double the range of a normal unit's vision, and because thieves already have enhanced vision. If you have a thief, like Colm, use a torch. You can see a big chunk of the map, and though it doesn't look that threatening, these enemies themselves are pretty threatening, especially these cavaliers who wield swords. I have axes. Oh frick, I forgot the one up there wields an iron lant uh, iron sword. I need Franz down here and now. Alright, fine. I guess I'll do something different. I'll send a Reeker up this way. As well. Let's just send the whole army up this way. Yeah, that's something I've never done before. I mean what <laughs> what can go wrong? Alright, I'm just going to put, and also, uh, the torch staff allows you to use it in any location of the area. Depending on the magic stat, I believe, will determine how far it can go. I believe. I might be wrong, but I'm not sure. I forget. Well, it's not that I forget, I don't know exactly. Uh, okay, everything's fine here. And Vanessa is going to go on a solo mission to get this village and get here first fast. And do you have a vulnerary? Okay, you have three, which is good. Alright, see, so everything's going as planned, which is what I want. Um, let's move these units in. I want you two next to each other. 
as usual. And uh, let's get them all together. I have no formation in this at all. Alright, the only move unit moving is that soldier! Great. Right, he set himself up for this. Um, I can't kill you on its own, so... Well, I guess I'll just do this. Who needs it more? Oh, Art needs it more, because I can get a level up with loot by just attacking the guy. Mm-hmm. Good job, loot. Okay. And I can finish you with Arta. Who, I don't think he'll get the level up, but he'll, be get, he'll get like 99. I'm gonna call it. Oh no, he just got it. Okay, cool. Two off, that's alright. Can't be perfect. Uh, hate that level up. That's, uh, hate, 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 hate HP and luck. Or just those two on its own. I mean, Arta needs luck considering his horrendous uh, things in general. But, uh, alright, I need to think this through because that actually just can be a pain. I heard there are monstrous spiders living in the mountains to the east. They, ser they are said to be poisonous. So I stocked up on antitoxins. This antitoxin stuff uh, strong stuff. No need to worry about poison with this around. Hey, why don't you go ahead and take one? Go ahead, you may need it. They might still eat you, but at least they won't be able to poison you. Well, at least that kid's positive. Alright. Also, uh, you actually want to keep these three alive. Um, they all have to be alive in order to get a bonus by the end of the level, so keep that in mind. Alrighty, I need... I want to kill you, but I have no units who can kill you. Exactly. Ross there. Ah, uh, hand axe is 12. You'll lose 4 speed. That brings you to 2. He has 6. You'll be fine. Alright, so horse unit number 1 comes down. That, that one cavalier just now, he's such a tank. He, we have to get rid of him, like, immediately. And then you have that guy, too. Whoa! Hmm. Alright, everything's going sort of... Oh, you can double me! That didn't go as planned. What? What happened there? I didn't know you can double me. I'm glad you missed twice, but jeez. Okay. So Mr. Cavalier is really good. He freaking hell. We're just gonna chill around these mountains, man. Oh, I should have brought the magic units up. I would have blasted through that guy with ease. Damn it. Oh god damn it, I'm so stupid. Alright, so fine. I might need to bring you guys up, but this is dangerous considering what can appear, and I know what happens because I always get caught off guard with them. Alright, so Erika, you're gonna get rid of this soldier. Um, I need to, but I need to, yeah, I need to peg this guy down heaps. Um, let's just go with it. Okay, cool. Nice, Franz, nice. Oh, you get a level up too. Alright, you're my wall here. That's a good level up. That's a really good level up. Thank you. Alright, Erika, you are going to stab this guy to death. And a crit. 
Yes! Alright, alright. Okay, everything is going a little bit better. Fine, if the hand axe is too heavy, at least I can do it with the iron axe. Must be doing the calculations wrong somewhere. Fine, iron axe, you in the face. Crab burger? What? How are they still up on Skype? That's weird. I mean, it's a Friday, so I guess it's not that surprising. You're probably gonna go for Calm. That's fine. Calm is a man, he can take a hit or two. It's the next move coming up that I'm really worried about. Get defense. Wow, that was a really good level up. You didn't get defense, but everything else is great. Alright, so yes, you're going for Garcia. You, you, that was a dumb move. Garcia can kill you in two hits. Thank you. Alright, you're going for France, which is probably a smarter choice of attack. Good job. Good job, sir. That was a very smart move. Please... Oh, hi! I didn't know you would come here. Ow! Ow! Oh, you heal him. Oh, okay. Mm. Yep. They have a healer. Who knows what she's doing? That was a pretty good choice of... Heal, by the way. I commend you for that. <sighs> Damn it. I didn't want them to come out. Alright. So this is the dangerous part of the map. The Cavalier Swarm that we have on the left. I could have had Vanessa fall back, but I'm not going to do that because... I need these guys to get moving in fast, so I need her to get there, so she only has one job. As for these guys... Oh my god, there's so many possibilities I can do, but I really just... OH SHIT! I think I screwed up. I think I've, 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 I've done it. Damn it. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Glad he doesn't have a javelin or else loot would have got wrecked. So little places to hide. All right, Natasha, you're going to be taking a hit. Uh, you have 9 speed, so you're not getting doubled. You have 2 defense. A javelin does how much? 13. Are you the only unit who can get her? 
You are the only unit. Okay, Natasha, you're going to be taking one hell of a hit. And I'm sorry I couldn't avoid that. This, if this if this turns out in the worst case scenario, it's going to be dumb. Okay. Okay, cool. That was the best scenario I could have asked for. Thank you. You can't make it to that thing, can you? You can. Damn it. You can't cross over. I'm absolute certain. Sorry this has been a really long turn. I'm probably gonna like speed this up, but every bit of movement counts. Can't get too risque. Just to give the heal a little scare. I didn't want Arika to stand there. I really didn't. But, alright, Arika, you're gonna have to hold out. She might die, though. Okay, he's running away. They're both running away. Great. He's running away, too! What the hell? Holes with that turn. They all decided to run off. Bunch of pansies. Oh, thank you, Natasha. You did the... Whew. Okay, now this, ladies and gentlemen, is a little bit more manageable. Okay. This is why I had axe users in the first place, to get rid of these stupid assholes. Fortunately, they can't on their own, so... Alright, boys, let's chip him down from afar. <laughs> Thank you! Jesus, I'm so glad she's getting crits for days. Good level up, thank you. That was a good level up. That was an amazing level up. How much does a rapier give her? 10 grit. Nice. Um. I don't think any more reinforcements. Oh my! Damn it! I did it! I forgot! Well, actually, I didn't forget. I saw it, but I I saw the times two on Arta, and I got excited, and I screwed up because of it. So, oops. Whew. All right. I'm back in. I'm back in. Uh, thinking. Actually, you're probably gonna see all that sped up. That like moment of thinking. Uh, I apologize for that, but hey. I need to think sometimes. This this game is really you, you you gotta make sure every move you do has does like it's no mistakes are made. Just perfect runs. Nothing goes wrong. You have a javelin! I forgot See, this is when two healers would become very useful, just because I would be able to heal my units faster, but thank god, kind of got through that without too much issue. Wish you got better stats though, Garcia. Alright, so, let's move up. Got my items ready. Uh, I think it's time to nearly use another torch here. Um, that was really annoying how he ran away though. That was a really, really wimpy move. Back to me, man. Let's, let's, have, fun, let's have some fun. I wonder if Coleman Mountain's like a priest at night, is it? Okay. Well, the Trobadol's up there and she ran away like a pansy as well. I'm gonna chase her. Uh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, let's just keep Franz close, just in case anything bad happens. I know there's a guy on the top left, but I don't think he'll kill Franz. Oh, that guy's coming around? 
What? Since when does the AI think to go out, run away, hide in the fog, come back into the, like, open, and then hit an enemy? That is genius for a sacrificial unit. But no, the enemy should not have the the genius and smarts to do that. That was such a smart move, I'm kind of impressed. But because I'm impressed, I'm also very much ticked off at you. Just die. Oh, and get crit by Ross. Yeah. Take that, jerk face. Now, time to get rid of that guy up there. Um, you, young lady. And it is a lady, I'm not being sexist. Trebadors are only women. How much resistance do you have? You have eight. Yeah, using loot would be worth, uh, useless. Let's give Fran some sword experience. And then let's finish it off with Nimi. She's not going to get a lot of experience out of this because it is a healer. Healers don't give that much experience. Oh wow, she got a legit amount. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Ignore what I said. Good level up. Alright, that's a good level up. I'll accept that. Oh, there you are, there you are. Alright, so here we have a, a special monster. This is known as a bale, aka spiders. And they are giant poisonous uh, mountain spiders with venom-filled fangs. Can you kill me? Oh, no, you can't. Alright, so you can't kill me. But these fangs are poisonous, so as soon as you get hit by them, they will poison you. What's really annoying is he's on a mountain peak. And uh, peaks give a shizload of... Uh, I can do no damage to him. I do zero damage to you. What? Oh no, that's not good. Um, okay, unless I'm doing the math wrong, which apparently I might be because I can't do math. Just dumb. I'm so scared to move loot in such a dangerous position. Now uh, let's move Garcia up here so then he can start like raiding in from. Um, Rika, you're a level ten. You'll be just fine there. 